Okay, to create an expressor-driven condition switcher, first we're gonna go manage some user data. I add my user data, then I call it switch, and turn it into a boolean, to make it look like a simple checkbox. Then I need both of my objects to be involved in this somehow. I add a data, give it a name, set a data type to link, then I clone it using my control button, give it a new name, press OK. And now finally it's time for some expressor. I add a new expressor tag, drag my instance object into expressor editor, get all of my three user data fields as outputs. As usual they can be found in the bottom of the list. Then right-click on the empty field, new node, expresso, logic, condition. Now let's connect together switch input and switch output. Now let's investigate a data type inside node options and pick up a link. It allows us now to connect both of our objects with inputs of condition node. And the final step is a simply looping of our chain. I come back for my instance object, set the reference object as my input and connect condition node with an instance object from the other side. Looks like everything's gone for now. That's just because both of our objects haven't set yet. And we can surely fix this by dragging them onto an empty field. And now, when it's all said and done, we can finally check our condition switcher. Boom, it works! And you can use it whenever you like from now on. Well, this is it.